The gunshot wound on Lieutenant Charles Glinowitz was so devastating, the medical examiner says that it only took one bullet to kill the veteran officer. Tonight, sources tell CNN that bullet was fired into Glinowitz's torso, entering at a downward angle. Even, a source says, as he was wearing a bulletproof vest. It's quite unusual because clearly you'd have to get close enough uh, to your victim uh, to, to have this happen. You'd have to get the gun away from uh, the lieutenant. It seems that there was a proximity, a very, uh, it was a close-in shot with the gun practically in a contact mode. CNN has learned the medical examiner has still not ruled out if that shot was fired by one of the three suspects the officer described in a radio call moments before his death. Police say the case is still being investigated as a homicide, but have not seen the suspects on any surveillance video recorded near the scene. We are continuing this investigation based on the information that was provided to us from day one uh, that Lieutenant Glinowitz uh, identified three individuals that he pursued in a heavily wooded area. Officers responded to back him up and they found him uh, murdered, or I'm sorry, killed. Police have remained tight-lipped about any evidence they do have, saying only that someone else's DNA, along with the officer's gun, was found near his body. One source tells CNN that gun had been fired, but police won't say if it fired the fatal shot. By looking at that bullet, looking at the striations, the markings on that bullet, uh, it should be quite simple to show whether or not it was the officer's gun that fired that round. Then the gun becomes very crucial because there might be DNA or fingerprints on that gun.